Hi, I'm Jim Jubeck and welcome to my YouTube video for today, May 12th. It's another grueling downward day on the market, but hey, uh, the sun's out. Uh, yesterday I went to a ball game, the Yankees won. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get notification of when I'm doing the next one. We're doing about three a week, but not always on the same day. If you want more of my stuff, uh, including three portfolios for 12 to 18 months, five years or longer, and dividends, you can go to my free site on drewbackpicks.com. If you want six portfolios, including a portfolio that covers options and ETFs, uh, you can go to my paid site, uh, drewbackam.com, and those are all down below. Today's topic, we're going to talk about fear. My fear is actually not of a recession. Recessions come, they go, they're part of the business cycle. What I'm worried about is a credit crunch, a Minsky moment. Minsky was a great economist who uh, noticed that, that capitalist systems, financial systems have this tendency. They seemingly have a built-in bias in terms of speculative excess at, at some point. Um, money gets cheap, people forget that there's credit risk. They lend money to people who they probably shouldn't be lending money to. And at some point, uh, there's an event which, set, which leads everyone to go, oh, gee, you know what? We lent out too much money and they crunch down on credit. They stop lending it. And, and what, what you get is, is that at the top, the top of this cycle, uh, when you get the, the turn, it ought to be when people are expanding credit so that the turn doesn't turn, the turn doesn't turn into uh, a really bad trend downward. But instead, what you get is, is people contracting credit, banks uh, deciding they're not going to lend. It's, it's very much a case of, of shutting the barn door off after the horses run away. But that's what I'm afraid of right now. And it's not actually going to be about uh, the corporate level, I'm more worried about what's going on at the individual and consumer level. Let's take a look at one chart. This is a pretty scary chart. And if you're subject to vertigo, well, you've been warned. This is the S&P over the last year. This is, you know, down, 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 whoop, with a little rally. And then starting in March, we've been pretty much straight down again. So today, um, on the 12th, we're about 36, 38.76. We're approaching some important technical levels around 34, 3,500 on the S&P. Uh, usually at that point, uh, we get a bounce, uh, but this is all technical inside stuff. What caught my eye is actually not a chart of the S&P, not market action, but walking down Broadway, I live in Manhattan, and seeing an appliance store that was advertising in its window, walk in an immediate credit approval of up to $4,000. This is not a good sign. What I'm seeing here is A, uh, a exp massive expansion of credit. Uh, the latest numbers from the Fed say consumer credit was up at uh, an annual rate of 14% in March. Most of that was in revolving credit. That means credit cards. Uh, so we're seeing a huge, huge spike in people borrowing money on their credit cards. Uh, at the same time, uh, as you might expect, uh, we're seeing a really steady decline in the savings rate. People are continuing to consume. Um, personal consumption expenditures uh, running at a really pretty good rate. Um, we're seeing, but we're seeing personal income go at a, up at a very, very small rate. Personal income was up at about half a percentage point in March. Uh, so where is this coming from? Where is the spending coming from? Well, it's coming from people borrowing money, which is great until the people who borrow, who lend the money, don't want to lend anymore. All this credit is being built up on a relatively small basis of increases in income. Uh, we're also seeing a real big decrease in family wealth because of the stock market. And granted that not all families have money in the stock market. There's a lot of 401k money out there. You've got the stock market, you've got um, the collapse of a fairly important um, stable coin, uh, Terra, uh, which was supposed to keep its peg to the dollar. Uh, it wound up going down, it broke the peg, uh, went down to 60 cents on Monday, uh, went down to 20 cents uh, yesterday. If you remember back to the early days of the global financial crisis, 
2008, 2009. Um, what we what you had was it started in the the mortgage market for risky mortgages. There was contagion. So many people had money lucked in through laymen or obligated to people who had money to laymen. It was this incredible um, interlocking thing where no one knew exactly how much risk was out there, and that I think is what we're seeing again. This is why this uh, worries me right now. Uh, if we get a mild recession out of the Fed's rate increases. I think we'll probably skate past this danger, but if the recession gets as bad as I think it might be, um, with inflation remaining high, I think all this is putting a lot of pressure on it, and we could, on the consumer side, get a Minsky moment. In other words, be careful, think about cutting your risk, make sure you've got enough cash to get you through, personally, any kind of, of individual short-term uh, problem, and this is not a time to be trying to recoup your losses by taking on extra risk. This is Jim Tubak. Thanks for watching my, my video. Like, give us a like on, on YouTube. Uh, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and get more fear. And some days we actually are bubbly and pick stocks. If you want to see my portfolios, um, three portfolios uh, right now, trying to move some of that uh, away from risk. Uh, that's my jubackpicks.com uh, free portfolio. My Jubac AM, which is my subscription portfolio, has actually more work going on in terms of hedging and risk dispersal and finding ways to, places to put your money where you might actually make a, a little bit uh, at the same time as being safe.